Hi, and welcome to Read to Me, Mrs. Avenue. Uh, today I'm continuing the book, My Librarian is a Camel, how books are brought to children around the world. And today we're gonna be focusing on a country called Papua New Guinea. I'll show you where that is, and then we'll read about it, okay? Remember our continent and country, Australia. Well, Papua New Guinea is right above Australia in the red. Okay, and if we look at our locator map, which just makes a size of the world bigger so you can see it better, we'll see there's Australia and there is Papua New Guinea. And guess what country is right next to that? That would be Indonesia. Okay, and there's the Papua New Guinea flag. And what can we learn about Papua New Guinea? It is called the Independent State of Papua New Guinea the capital is Port Moresby, and the estimated population is 5 million people. Papua New Guinea lies in the Pacific Ocean. It consists of around 800 islands just north of Australia and east of Indonesia. The terrain is rugged with deep valleys and gorges. Most of the country is covered by tropical rainforest. Although the official language is English, over 700 other languages are spoken. Okay. All right, in Papua New Guinea, no roads lead to remote jungle hamlets or to the schools that serve them. Volunteers from Hope Worldwide, a nonprofit charitable organization based in Philadelphia, are committed to bringing books to people in this area of Papua New Guinea. They begin their journey in a four by four truck on a road cut into the steep hillside. After a long bumpy ride, they eventually come to a village called Mogiagi, which means up and down road a perfect description for the surrounding landscape. At Mogiagi, students and their teacher file out of the school to greet the volunteers. They are all excited about receiving a new supply of books. But the volunteers aren't done yet. They still have to reach a further destination deeper into the jungle, the village of Amia. They ford a river in their truck and drive until they can go no farther. Then they unload the boxes of books and take them to the small village in the highlands. From here, they must walk for four hours up the pass and over several ridges, crossing log bridges while carrying the boxes of books on their shoulders. They head up the valley to where the trail stops. Along the way, people who live along the trail bring sugar cane to the volunteers. When they finally reach Amia, young people come running to meet them. The volunteers have come to help them start a library. The young people help carry books and supplies into the school. The volunteers have brought over a hundred books on their backs and books are not the only things they deliver. They also bring desperately needed medicines such as antibiotics and aspirin. The people of Amia gratefully read their books and look forward to the next supply. Wow, so it sounds like it's not easy to get books to these smaller areas in the rainforest. Okay, so let's look here. We have a picture here of some of the people bringing them books. And look, they're going across a log bridge. And then if you look here, this looks like the truck that they come in. And this looks like the students that meet them. And if you look here, looks like some of the students are enjoying their first glimpse of the books. And it says, the smile of a child holding a book is enough reward for the volunteers who carry boxes of books into the jungles of Papua New Guinea. And that's that picture there of the boy smiling. And yes, I agree. That smile is priceless. And then the last picture I'm gonna show you says, so many happy readers in Papua New Guinea. And this is gonna show you a village and look at all the books that the children got in this village. So how wonderful that this organization called Hope Worldwide, that's based in Philadelphia, which is in Pennsylvania, which is in the United States, they are helping to carry books to very remote villages in Papua New Guinea. All right, stay tuned. We're gonna be reading about Peru next. Bye.